can conceal your valuables on your bookshelf with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. So I have a concealment safe here but it says new english dictionary so how is that possible and what i really thought was interesting about this is that it's really for disguising your valuables and i wanted to do a tabletop review here because i wanted to get an up close and personal with the details here so that you know exactly what you're getting and i even thought we would do some measurements so that you know exactly what you can put in here now you could probably use this for anything so say you had a sidearm jewelry valuables cash you know collectibles you know an important document you know those types of things it's really probably pretty versatile and one of the things that makes this interesting is that it's not just concealing something it's actually protecting it so first of all let's take a look at the outside it's kind of got a standard paper cover here it actually looks a lot like a book We've got like this foil printing new english dictionary if this were sitting up on a bookshelf you probably wouldn't you know notice anything the the spine might be a little more curved on a real book you know as it kind of opens and flexes and then i think sometimes there's a little bit of an indentation here where it's kind of glued around the spine and then the the book flap opens actually a little inboard there but overall it looks pretty good and size wise it's just about what you would expect from a book if we look at the dimensions here it is basically oh six and an eighth inches and kind of top to bottom you're looking at oh basically nine and a half so that's pretty cool and then depth wise here or um width here you're looking at oh just a smidge under two and a quarter so it's pretty beefy but that means you get good interior dimensions what i also like about this is that the plastic that goes around the outside is kind of textured to look like pages so at a glance it doesn't look like flat plastic it's got a little bit of a matte white finish but i like the fact that it kind of looks a little bit like pages it does a little bit better job now again if this is on a bookshelf you probably won't see that but if it's sitting on your nightstand or your desk or something like that you'll probably want to have that now if i flip this open there what you can see here is we have i'm assuming it's like a steel box it's pretty light it's just sheet metal what you can see here is it's powder coated in like a a gray hammer tone finish which is kind of nice piano hinge on the top and on the inside here what i will tell you about this box is again it's about nine inches by about five and three quarters so you know it's pretty big you'll be able to put a lot of stuff in here but it's not huge it's not going to be voluminous now what's most interesting about this is that it does have a combination lock now when you get it it's zero 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 so i want to show you that there's a little latch that keeps this closed so if i try to pull this up if i lock it here pull it up it's not going to come up but if i turn this to unlock then it moves that latch out of the way and because the combination is zero 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 when you buy it then this will lift up and you can see how this little latch works right if i turn that latch is locked unlocked latch unlocked now inside you can put pretty much whatever you want keep in mind that this lid does not give you the tire you know volume of the box this kind of kicks down a little bit and you also have this hinge in here so you can't have something that's maybe two inches thick all the way across so you do have to account for that there's nothing protecting it the other thing that's a little different about this is that there isn't a foam insert so if you're going to put something in here and this is going to move around you might hear it rattle you know say like the squirt gun which is probably the size of a pocket 380 you know if you're moving around it's going to make a noise or a knife or something like that now you could put in a magnet i assume or sticky tape or a mount or cut it some foam yourself to put it in there but you can see how that works and it's just attached with these little kind of plastic tabs so it's nicely done i'm actually pretty impressed with it now you're probably saying how do i change the combination because obviously zero 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 is not going to work for me so it's actually pretty easy what you can see here is you have this little tab on a and if you push this down and then up what you do is you get it into this b position now it's kind of unlocked and ready to be recoded so what i want to do here is now just change this to like 900 i'm going to open it back up and then i'm going to put the switch back in that a position just kind of wants to go there as soon as you release it and now what you might be able to see here is that the switch will lock and unlock on 900 right no problem i can lock it not open it unlock it open it right and if i lock it move it off of 900 like that 
I'm going to say these are a little slippery. They're just kind of plastic. Now, it won't let me unlock it. it. won't let me turn that dial. So that's really good. So you have a little combination lock. Now, I will say, because of the combination lock and because these are a little slippery, you know, one, at night, you might not be able to see the numbers that well. So if it's something that you're going to have to manipulate in the dark, you're probably going to need some sort of light on it, right? And if you are under duress or trying to manipulate this with wet fingers or something like that, it might not be that easy. There are little indentations there so you can get your fingernail in them but you know that's not necessarily a guarantee but now it's a 900 i can open this back up and i can put stuff in it so pretty cool i definitely dig this it's pretty cool that now you know anything that i have of value right say phones or you know tools or money cash whatever you could put in there lock it away and not necessarily have to worry about you know, someone just inadvertently stumbling on it, and even if they did, not necessarily being able to open it up without that combination. Again, this isn't a safe. You know, someone who's very eager could probably get this. This is all plastic. Just bang that through. You know, maybe, I don't know, force this with pliers or something like that. So it's not meant to, like, keep someone out that's determined to get in it. But it's a little bit of resistance so that someone who stumbles on it is not going to be able to get in here easily. And that's really the point. And it's also going to reduce people from stumbling on it because it looks like a book. Like I said, and if you've got something that's under nine inches long and under five and a half inches wide and let's call it an under two inches tall, but you're going to have to take off another half inch for this lip right here. And then even the mechanism here is like three quarters of an inch thick. You know, but obviously if you put it back here, you get the most space. You definitely could hide in here. So pretty cool. It's also not expensive. It was like, I don't know, 15 bucks maybe. Hey, if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.